special sensor set or unsman your special sensor stations. The Philippine Coast Guard is the country's vanguard against the entry of unsafe foreign vessels into the country through its port state control. At present, the Philippine Coast Guard has seven PSC centers and 15 PSC divisions throughout the country. The PSC center in Manila has the bulk of all inspections based on the frequency of foreign ship calls. Under RAE 9993, the Philippine Coast Guard is mandated to enforce the regulations under all relevant maritime international conventions, treaties, or instruments of which the government is a signatory in national laws. Maritime safety or MARSAT function is designed to help prevent or minimize unnecessary loss of lives and properties at sea. To improve the capability in responding to offshore and coastal maritime incidents, such as search and rescue, maritime law enforcement, and maritime security operations, the Philippine Coast Guard requested the acquisition of 97-meter multi-role response vessels as part of the Philippine Coast Guard Maritime Safety Capability Improvement Project. In this video, we will see how the Philippine Coast Guard selected the 97 meters multi-role response vessels, looking at how much it costs, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action. In 2011, the commitment plan of the Philippines to the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation and Counter-Terrorism Action Plan, they stated the need to acquire high-endurance vessels for Philippine Coast Guard. In 2013, the former Department of Transportation and Communication detailed a plan for the acquisition of 92-meter multi-role response vessels. By November 2015, the Department of Foreign Affairs issued a note verbal transmitting the government of the Philippines official request to secure loan financing from the government of Japan. In the same month during the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, the government of Japan agreed to the request for larger Philippine Coast Guard vessels. Japan will consider the specifics of the Philippine request for two large Coast Guard patrol vessels. From January to February 2016, GCAW's feasibility study review and appraisal mission were dispatched. The project has an approved budget of $89 million for two units of 92 meters multi-role response vessels. During a June 2016 meta ICC review, there were changes made. They adjust the total length from 92 meters to 97 meters, and the funding increased from $89.73 million to $142.85 million. In September 2016, the NEDA board finally approved the project. And finally, in October 2016, during Philippine President Duterte visit to Japan, the government of the Philippines and the government of Japan signed a GCAW's official development assistance loan agreement, specifically a special terms for economics partnership loan. The special terms for economics partnership was applied to the project. In the agreement that was signed, and it was expected that only Japanese shipbuilding technologies will be utilized. During the October 2016 signing, the project was targeted to be completed in 2022. The terms of the Special Terms for Economics Partnership Loan are first they are required to use the service of Japanese companies, payable in 40 years. The loan amount is 16.4 billion Japanese yen, with an annual interest of 0.1%. With a grace period of 10 years, there are two contracts for this project. First is the consulting services for the construction of the vessels, which was awarded on the 28th of September 2018, and the notice to proceed was issued on the 9th of November 2018. In this project, the joint venture of Japan Marine Science and Pedico Company Limited won the contract. 
This contract was delayed due to the slow procurement process of the Philippine Department of Transportation, which replaced the DOTC, after the government decided to separate the scope of communications from the agency. The second project is the Vessel Construction Contract. The shortlisted shipbuilding firms for this contract are the following, Japan Marine United Corporation, Mitsubishi Shipbuilding Company Limited, and Mitsui Engineering and Shipbuilding Company Limited. But in the end, Mitsubishi Shipbuilding Company Limited has won the tender and was given the notice of award on the 17th of January 2020. On the 7th of February 2020, a contract signing ceremony was held between the Philippine government and Mitsubishi Shipbuilding and was signed by the Philippine Department of Transportation, Secretary Arthur Tagadi and Mitsubishi Shipbuilding President Koji Okura. The 97-meter class patrol vessel for the Philippines is an improvement based on the Kunisaki type patrol vessel held by the Japan Coast Guard, which has a deck and hangar where helicopters similar to the Kunisaki type can land, while the Kunigami class is equipped with a water cannon and JM-61 RFS 20mm Vulcan, or Bushmaster II, 30mm chain gun from the 13th ship in class. The multi-role response vessels for the Philippines is only equipped with three water cannons, one at the bow of the ship and one on each side above the bridge. However, the helicopter's operational capability is enhanced over the Kunigami class. With the addition of a helicopter hangar, the Japanese Coast Guard patrol vessel doesn't have a hangar, but can supply fuel and electric power to a helicopter on board. Interestingly, the image of the multi-role response vessels shows space between the water cannons on the bow of the ship and the bridge, and it may be possible that the ship will have weapons on board in the future. The Kunigami class is equipped with the Bushmaster 220mm cannon in this space. The two multi-role response vessels are now in the sea trial stage. At the Mitsubishi Shipbuilding, and are scheduled to be delivered to the Philippine Coast Guard in 2022. The general specification of 297 meters multi-role response vessels. It has a length of 97 meters. Waterlines Langit of 87.50 meters. Breadth about 11.5 meters. Design load draft of 4 meters. It has a crew of 57 personnel. Passengers, one VIP room, two medical officers, 32 survivors, and with two units of 8-meter rigid inflatable boats lowered by davit cranes, gross tonnage, about 2,300 tons, engine, medium-speed marine diesel engine, with two sets of 6,600 kilowatts. It boasts high performance with a maximum speed of 24 knots or more and a cruising range of 4,000 nautical miles at 12 knots and has endurance of not less than 15 days. The multi-role response vessels will be used to prevent maritime crime such as terrorism in the Philippine territorial waters, an exclusive economic zone, control illegal operations, and rescue maritime accidents. The vessel is capable of day and night helicopter operations with a helicopter landing deck platform, hangar, landing aids, and associated equipment, and designed to accommodate the maximum takeoff weight of the helicopters like Airbus EC-145, Sikorsky S-70i, Agusta Westland W-139, and Bell 412. Once completed, the Mitsubishi-built multi-role response vessels will be the largest in the Philippine Coast Guard, surpassing the recently delivered 84-meter offshore patrol vessel, the BRP Gabriela Silling. The planned deployment of the 97-meter multi-role response vessels, as indicated in the Japan MOFA case study, will be in the 1st Coast Guard District Manila and the 10th Coast Guard District Cagayan de Oro. The 97-meter multi-role response vessels will surely aid the Philippine Coast Guard in their purpose and their mandated duties and responsibilities to promote the safety of life and property at sea, protect the marine environment, and enforce all applicable laws within the high seas and waters subject to the jurisdiction 
of the Republic of the Philippines.